Where and where are we going? I'm going to the doctor. Aaron has a bad tummy bug. So we gotta go to Centro Medico. I just got out of the doctor's and I'm walking to a pharmacy because the pharmacy at the hospital didn't have um, the medicine that I needed. So I, yes, I do not feel good. No bueno. I'm back. I've been sleeping for the last couple hours. Uh, I have medicine. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I tried to look online, but had varying levels of success. I know one of them is a probiotic. So, hopefully this will go away soon. The strawberry kiwi flavor is the best, so highly recommend strawberry kiwi. I do not highly recommend getting sick though. Don't put it on your list. So when I fell asleep, I just dreamed about food. I dreamed about, I dreamed that we found a new grocery store to go to and I was looking at all the produce. And so um, also the grocery store had a bakery of course and Jesse and I were getting all this stuff and I was like, Oh my gosh, Mexican bakeries are the best. Isn't this wonderful? And then I started eating some of it. And then I woke up and had to run to the bathroom. I was like, this is not fair. I haven't even eaten anything. <laughs> I'm just really pathetic right now. All right. We're on day five. Day three of severe symptoms. I was able to eat a little bit of rice and so far it's stayed in there, so fingers crossed. Um, went about 48 hours with no solid food, so hopefully I'll be able to tolerate a little bit of solid food now. I've been sitting this morning reading about Mexican history because I got to thinking about the way we call diarrhea Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> and um, I really think we should probably stop saying that. Um, Montezuma was the last Aztec emperor who was um, overthrown by the Spanish um, conquistadors, Cortes, and um, you know, while Montezuma was not a perfect person and a very complicated leader who did some things that were not great for his people, um, he still marks the end of the Aztec Emperor and the beginning of Spanish rule in Mexico. And um, so using his name to describe Traveler's Diarrhea, which is what people say, it's like when you go to Mexico and you get a stomach bug. It seems to kind of trivialize the situation or make light of it. So yeah, that, I mean, I've used that term myself, but the more I think about it, the more icky I feel about using that. So maybe we should stop that. Anyway, this is what my brain comes up with when I'm lying here miserable um another thing i was thinking of is this is a great way to prepare for day of the dead by by feeling like death myself uh, hopefully i'll feel better soon oh by the way if you're watching this that means i'm not still sick because that will have meant that I was able to get out of bed and edit it and post it. So, if you're watching this, then I'm doing a lot better. All right, I'm gonna try to rest now. Read some more Mexican history and maybe take a nap. Hey guys.
guys. I'm gonna try to do some editing. Just a little bit and then I'm going back to bed. Halloween video. So, I am not dead, I am not sick, I am healthy and happy and I'm um, doing a lot better than I was at the beginning of this video. So I thought I'd sit down and give you a little update as this was the first time that I had seen a doctor here in Mexico and here in Guanajuato. Jesse has been to the clinic twice, um, lucky guy. <laughs> But this was my first experience of being sick, like really sick here. So all in total, I was sick for about seven days. Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> it was rough. Um, whew, I am glad that is over. So I went to a doctor in Centro Medico, which is in La Presa. I just walked in, I didn't have an appointment. I just told them what was up and asked to see a doctor. I was seen within five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Um, it was a very short wait. The doctor that I saw was very nice. Um, he didn't speak pretty much any English. He could say a little bit like, you know, address when I couldn't figure out what he was asking me. Um, so uh, we did the whole appointment in Spanish. I only needed my phone to look up stroke because <laughs> I was trying to give him my, my family medical history. So I was really proud of myself that I was able to communicate in Spanish what I needed and that is all thanks to my Spanish teachers because they were kind enough um, to teach me some medical terminology. He prescribed three medications and none of them were antibiotics, which actually made me feel good because I feel like a lot of times when you go to like a clinic in the States or you don't know the doctor very well, um, I just feel like you're, you're sometimes more likely to just be prescribed an antibiotic. Um, so I appreciated that he didn't just jump to that with all the over-prescribing of antibiotics and antibiotic resistant bacteria and blah. Um, I thought that was a good sign that he didn't just, you know, write a prescription for an anti antibiotic and send me on my way. So anyway, if you walk into this clinic expecting an experience exactly like you would get in the States, you may be in for just a bit of culture shock. It's not an identical experience in terms of, like my doctor was using a typewriter to type up the notes for example. Um, Harper's pediatrician has a, has a computer, but mine didn't use one. If you get lab work, that is a separate, a separate situation. So we had to get some labs done for Harper. So the doctor gave us a prescription for what tests he was ordering. Then we went to the lab, which there is a lab at Centro Medico, Medico, but you could go to another lab around town, anywhere you wanted to. You get the, lab work done there, when they give you the results, then you take the results back to your doctor. So it's a little bit of a different process than what you might be used to. The pharmacy at Centro Medico also, we've used it twice. Both times they've been out of at least one of the prescriptions that we were given. Um, however, the ISEG pharmacy in Centro has almost, I think they've always had what we have asked for. So. I don't know what the difference is there, but both times that we've used the pharmacy um, at the hospital, they've been out of at least one of the drugs that we needed. The experience is also different based on what type of patient you usually are. Like Jesse, when he goes to the doctor, he just wants to like show up, here's what's wrong, give me a prescription, let me go. Whereas I like to ask 900 questions. And, um, you know, you can't do that when you don't know much Spanish. Now, I was able to communicate the, everything that I needed to communicate, um, but I couldn't ask my 900 extra questions. You know, that's just a neurotic thing about me. Like, I'm like that anywhere. Um, <laughs> so I think, I think someone like Jesse probably has a better experience because all he wants is just like, all right, look at me, 
tell me what I need to take, send me on my way. I believe that my doctor's appointment cost around $20 US, $15 or $20 US. I don't really remember because it was, because I was not quite, um, shall we say, with it. <laughs> and the medication, I believe, was closer to $25 US. So, and this is without insurance. We carry an international expat insurance policy that is just for catastrophic situations. So we don't use it for the everyday, you know, stomach bugs and checkups. We did take Harper to see the pediatrician. That checkup was $30 and the pediatrician gave me his cell phone number. And then he was like, call anytime, day or night. If you have any problems, let me know. He said, the only thing is if you call at night, uh, just make sure to call two or three times because I'm kind of a heavy sleeper. <laughs> like, can you imagine any doctor in the US giving out a cell phone number? Ow, just crazy. Ray Z. So yeah, I mean, good experience. If you are expecting it to be exactly like it would be in the States or to feel exactly like it would in the States, that's not gonna happen, at least here in Guanajuato. I'm not speaking for Mexico because Mexico is an enormous country. And if you think about the difference in, in medical facilities in the United States, then apply that also to Mexico. So, so Guanajuato is a city, it's not a very big city. Um, it's not gonna be the same here as it would be in Guadalajara or Mexico City by any stretch. So yeah, don't expect it to be exactly like the United States, but I did get care that I was really happy with at a very good price. And I am no longer feeling like I am going to die. All right, stay well, friends. I'll talk to you later. Bye.